Founded in 1948, Israel has re-engineered its landscape in a short space of time, turning water problems into solutions. From being a water-scarce country, Israel has turned around its fortunes to become water secure and independent. From 2005 to 2015, the country started a 10-year journey to eventually bring five desalination plants online to meet 80% of its municipal water supply. Three of those facilities at Hedera, Ashkelon and Sorek were delivered by IDE Technologies. Well, Israel is a kind of miracle because we live in a desert. All the countries around us, they don't have 24-7 water supply in the taps, in the homes. And here in Israel, we made some major, major steps in order to have this secure uh, uh, consumption. First, we reuse the water. About 85% of the water are reused and being taken for agriculture. We came in the last three years uh, from a situation of a very, uh, or as a country that is all the time coping with water scarcity, uh, to a country that took the responsibility upon itself uh, implement a variety of technological solutions uh, and uh, came or turned to a situation where we are water independent state. Israel had implemented together with the desalination plants uh, a scheme that works with the environment and not against it. Since 2005, five desalination pl plants were built in Israel. The last one was built in December 2015. All these uh, desalination plants are producing 600 million cubic meters a year, which is approximately 80% of the water consumption in Israel for the domestic uh, sector, of course. Over the last decade, IDE has built three mega-size plants in Israel. The first one was the Ashkelon plant, which was then the largest plant in the world, with a capacity of some 330,000 cubic meters per day. And this was about 10% of the Israeli uh, total consumption for municipal use. In 2009, IDE completed the Khadera plant, which came right on time, at the time, Israel had a levy of $10 per cubic meter on the use of water because of water scarcity and a real fear that there will be no water in the taps that summer. And IDE's plant in Khadera came on just at the end of 2009 and kind of saved the day. After this, IDE built the Sorak desalination plant, the largest uh, of its kind in the world. Since the Sorak plant came online, uh, there is no water scarcity anymore uh, in Israel. Sorek is unique because it's the largest one in the world. It's uh, using the most uh, advanced technologies and design that uh, IDE and its partners uh, came up with. Uh, it's also uh, quite, quite uh, adventurous because it is using for the first time the 16-inch uh, mega membranes which were not used in such a commercial uh, scale before that. Uh, I did take decision to install this 16-inch uh, for Sorek project uh, vertically for several reasons. First of all, it is smaller footprint, almost twice smaller. It is less expensive. It is simple installation process. We had visits in uh, uh, Sorek of the governor of Texas and the U.S. Secretary of Energy and uh, uh, these kind of figures that show uh, the entire world that this desalination solution is a real solution for water scarcity issues. And so Israel and America have been cooperating in many areas for many years. Uh, there's no reason why water shouldn't be uh, one of those areas where we work together in solving some of the uh, biggest world challenges. Providing reliable, sustainable and economical solutions is the key and uh, we have been uh, developing those uh, solutions here in Israel for facing similar problems that the U.S. is facing uh, as we speak, uh, particularly in California, Texas, but in the U.S. in general.